The Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree DLC has a lot of hidden areas you need to find and tricky puzzles to solve. So I want to make a video about getting to some of these secret areas so you don't have to waste 30 minutes finding them like I did. Or a few hours like I've seen for a couple of YouTube comments. So yeah, let's talk about getting to Bonnie Village where you need to find this little part in the Morth Ruins. And then you head down and you make your way through this cave. At the end, there's going to be a ladder. Climb up and it just pops you out in Bonnie Village. Now it's also really funny because inside of one of the buildings you can see a lot of people have tried and failed to make it down to this area you need to go. I succeeded somehow, like I bounced off of one of these rocks and it m mitigated just enough fall damage, but no, the actual entrance is what I just showed. Now once you make it to Bonnie Village, there's also something important you need to pick up. So you head over the broken bridge and then you go north and then by this tree we have the O oh Mother Gesture. Then you just want to follow the path until you make it to the Church District High Road because this is going to take you into to the church district. Now when you first get here it's going to be filled with water and if you go into the water you die so you need to parkour across the rooftops and there's one tricky part. Yes, the game actually wants you to parkour this. So you make it to the top of the building, you fall through the hole, you land on the beams, you fall through another hole that's going to take you into a circular room that has fire warriors in it and then you want to find the path that takes you to a lift. And then you head outside and you take this lift up. Then you head outside and you go up and to the left and then there's going to be a lever you pull and that drains all the water. Also, don't miss that jump. Or not a lever you pull, one of these things you turn. That's how you get access to the church. Past the area with the tree, you go into this room, you make a right at the big room and then you head down here and that's going to take you to the scattered tree base. Then you take the passage to the Sanctum, and that's where the Scatter Tree avatar is. Also in the building where you drop down through the roof, you can find an elevator to the Storehouse Loft. And now things get annoying. You have to take the lift up, and then you just keep running around through this area until you find a jumping off point. So if you go over the big cog, you've pretty much made it, and then you just want to safely make your way right here. And you just head down. Never mind, that wasn't as annoying as I thought it was, because the first time I was there, I actually missed the jump down point, and then I didn't go where I need to, but this takes you to the back gate. I honestly don't know how anyone's having a problem with Commander Gaius. Like, I just have him in the corner so he can't move too much, and I just spam him down with the Blasphemous Blade. And the reason why you want to do all that is to get to the Scatter Tree Chalice, which has five fragments so you beat this you beat Gaius and then you get a mega level up for your character and then we have the secret area of the secret area of the secret area because at the back passage in the room to the right that's where we use the O oh mother gesture and that opens up a secret path to the other area on the map you haven't been to so I just got here I don't know everything that's going on but if you've wondered how to get to this big place on the map there you go and one thing that's been driving people crazy is how you unlock the Rao Ruins map because it's down here and there's like no reasonable way to get to it. Now I did a video on that, same thing for unlocking the map for the Abyss, so I'm just going to splice that in as two secret areas. It's kind of cheating, but I need to make videos. And it starts over here at the Morth Ruins. And then for some reason you need to head northeast even though the map fragment is to the northwest. You go inside this cave, also you get a scatter tree fragment over there which is really cool. And then you just run past everything. So the cave takes you here, and then you still want to head northwest, and then it kind of loops down around, and then the map fragment is around here. So there's nothing really, like, too difficult. It's mostly knowing, like, oh, there's a secret path, and then you just keep heading down, and that takes you here. And then it kind of loops around because you can jump down over here and then take the riverbed south, and then you just kind of keep going through another cave. That's going to spit you out in this area. Then you just keep heading south, map fragment is somewhere around here, and then you get the McKellar Cross, and then you're good. And the crazy thing about getting to the southern shore is there's like three routes of getting to it. I just hopped on this grave, and then I'm in the Cerulean Coast, and that's coming from the Dragon Pit Terminus. So you go Castle Front, upper route, into the Pillar Path Waypoint, Dragon's Pit, Terminus, and then you head south, and then you can just hop down, and now, boom, you're right there. Alternatively, Castle Front, Elec R River Cave, this goes down into here, and then it loops around, and now you're kind of in this bottom area. So, a lot of different ways to get to the Cerulean Coast, and then it's really easy to get the map fragment. Now, what about this one? I haven't even unlocked it yet. That's because I need to find, like, the secret exit out of the Shadow Keep. 
So getting there is kind of weird. You want to go to the storehouse first floor or the main gate plaza. Main gate plaza is just going to be like the route to that. And then there's a ladder over there that you needed to find and take while getting swarmed by enemies. And then the path is under this waterfall. And then a secret wall across from the painting. And then the coffin gets you down to the bottom. And then you use code Relicify for 20% off your G Fuel order. They even have an Elden Ring inspired flavor. Then you have to take the gravestones down. Always fun. Always fun. Then you have to go down again. Oh, oh. And you finally make it to a catacomb, and you have to go through the catacombs until it spits you out. And then you just take the road to the map. Really, finding the catacombs is the tricky part, and then the rest of the area can be explored. Now, a lot of people get stuck in this area at the Viaduct Minor Tower because there's a nickel across in the distance, but no clear way of getting to it. We can actually just kind of jump down through here and cheese half of it. Then you can head into the ruins and make a left. Once you've made it to this room, you don't want to go right into this room. That just doesn't take you anywhere. You want to keep heading, and then this is the one I and many people have missed. And then you can head down through there. So you fall down to the first spirit well, and then you ignore the second one, and you keep heading straight. And that's going to take you right to the cross once you go here, and then make a left. Now, I already made a video about that part, but then I saw a lot of comments of people asking, okay, how do you keep progressing after that? I just went over the bridge. I just kept running straight. So you go over here, hop down over here, and then you make a left past the burning dude. And then that takes you to the next side of grace. And then the side of grace is over the hill. And then I just went through here and I made it to where I need to go. And then after going through a rot area, it spits me out at the church of the bud. And that takes you to the tree you need to burn down. And this is where I'd use Mesmer's kindling. If I had one, yes, I know you get it from beating Mesmer, but we ain't there yet. All right, so once you're in the Cerulean Coast, there's the Cerulean Coast West side of Grace, and there's an island nearby, but if you try to swim, you die. So this is one of like those stupid things where like, I've been looking for trying to, how to try to get to that island and I can't get over there and I keep dying. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. There's a path and then there's a cave and then you go left and that takes you to the island. You go right, there's also some cool stuff over here because at the end of this coffin, you have a max level glove wart, which I already snagged. And then you can head all the way down to the south of the Cerulean Coast, and that's where you go to the Fissure. And depending on when you found the Fissure, there's going to be like a golden wall blocking your way. This path opens up when you make it to the Shadowkeep main gate, and then you hear that a great rune was cracked. And then you just head back over here. Now, a weird thing about the barrier being broken is at the time of making this video, a lot of the guides online have like a lot of weird stuff on how to break it. A lot of them say it has something to do with the Oliar's quest line, but I never started that or like didn't significantly progress it and didn't use him in any of the fights. I just made it to the Shadow Keep and then it said somewhere Great Rune has been broken. And I guess you do have to beat Rolana and Castle Anesis to make it to the point where you can get to the Shadow Keep. I heard there's a skip. I haven't looked up anything about it. Just, just kind of weird i had it happen automatically after stumbling through the game so hopefully it's the same for you and at the end of all this you find the putrescence boss so there we go those are the secrets i found in the elden ring dlc that i thought would be cool to make into a video hope you enjoyed hope you have a nice day thank you very much for watching